You want to hear something funny? I've heard some slang words used on the radio that I haven't heard since the 50s. My name is Eric, and welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. You know, there's a lot of slang words I've heard. I'm not a slang person. When I was coming up in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, even in the 80s, I very rarely used slang words. I mean, I did, I'm one of those people, if I did use them, I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. I used them wrong. Well, anyway, I was uh, listening to this radio show. And it's a men's radio show, you know. And these guys together was talking about um, hanging out and doing this and doing that. And one guy was talking, basically was talking about his, I guess, his crew that he hang out with, and he called them his cats. And I like, he said, yeah, my cat, uh, me, meaning his friend, yeah, he came over there, and I'm like, wow, I haven't heard that terminology of a guy, friend, since the 50s. I remember the 50s. I remember guys, I was young. I was five or six years old. But I do remember they did use that terminology, cat. Meaning a, f a guy, a guy friend. You know, this cat, yeah, this cat came in, this cat came in and bar, and he did this, and this cat did that. And I haven't heard that since the 50s. And I was really shocked. Because, because that terminology, for me, it didn't last long. Because by the time I was old enough to, to, I guess, to use slang, we didn't, it wasn't cat. But I will tell you this that's a very interesting slang is, is, is homie. Let's take homie. My dad used to always talk about his homeboys. For him, his homeboys, and he was from Virginia. We lived in New York City. So if a guy is from Virginia, from the town that he's from, that was his homeboy. So when I hear my dad used to term, yeah, he's, yeah, my homeboy. I knew what he meant. He don't mean round the, he didn't mean in the neighborhood. He meant a guy or guys that grew that he grew up with in his hometown in Virginia, which is very interesting. It made, it made a lot of sense. Then as I got into high school, I heard the terminology homeboy. And homeboy, I guess, meant to my generation at the time was the boys that lived in your neighborhood. Those were your homeboys. And then, of course, it, it turned out uh, they changed the way they say homeboys. Is it homie? My homie? They got another terminology, my bestie. My bestie. I, had a, I guess that's my best friend. My bestie. I'm your bestie. Now, the terminology I did not like, and I talked about this sometime to friends of mine. I didn't, I heard when I was in high school, guys used to call their girlfriends bitches. And I said to a friend, I said, why are you calling your girlfriend a bitch? And he looks at me and he says, she's fucking all the guys in class. Well, when he said that, I'm like, well, I guess he is, she is a bitch if she's fucking all the guys in class. And then when I think it was, from, I think it was in the 80s, I heard the terminology, the girls was calling their boyfriends niggas. And I used to think, why would you call your why why would you use that terminology to call I don't want to go to I wouldn't want to hang out or go out with a nigga. You know, and then I mean, in my opinion, and someone said that I took the terminology, I in my opinion, I thought nigga means a low class person, period. But someone said no nigger it means is is a is a, how you say another way of saying niggered Negro and all like that, and but I'm like, okay, but I want to tell you something. Every time I hear a girl or even a guy would say, "Yeah, he's my nigga," or "She's my nigga," and then, cause like I said, in my mind, when you use that terminology, that means that they're low class. They they don't have no no, and usually, in my experience, the people that I knew who used those terminology, they they were going out with niggas. A girl would say, oh, that's my nigga. Yeah, because he's home. She's working her ass off. He's home in bed, either smoking reefer or drinking and watching TV, and she's working her ass off. Yes, that is your nigga. 
That's how I look at it when you use that terminology. So anyway, but I just, I just, this is a very short podcast. I'm just ranting on about the uh, slang. There's something else I want to say in this little podcast. Um, I heard a terminology. I have a friend who's a, a teacher and he claims that, uh, I don't know what claims, but he claimed, if, well, I should say he claims. They supposed to did a, 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 a study on it that a lot of kids today, we took, this is 2023, a lot of black kids today um, can't read and write. I mean, at a, I know there's a situation in my family where uh, a nephew of mine who was 12 years old couldn't read and write. I, I heard they 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 fixed that. They it was late teens now, but they fixed it. But when he was twelve years old, he couldn't read and write. And I'm like, how can you not know how to read and write at twelve years old? And I then I told people when I was coming up, I had a step grandfather who was definitely in his thirties because if I was five, he had to be in his thirties and forties. He couldn't read and write. He couldn't. I remember he got in order for him to get a driver's license, he had his brother sit with him and they allow this. I heard they still they still do it today. That's a friend of mine say. They do it to people who doesn't speak English. But his brother sat with him and as the uh woman uh how you say uh read off the well he had to read the question to my step grandfather who had to answer he had to put the answer down. Because my grandfather couldn't read and write. This is back in the fifties. So now we're talking about 2023 and there's still black people who can't read and write? Yeah, that's sad. That's very sad. They need to get their ass off those videos and learn to pick up a book. And I, and I can't really say too much because they used to say that to me in the 60s. We used to read comic books. Put away your comic books. You need to read a book or read a newspaper. Do <laughs> So here we are in 2023. So there's no comic books, but they got their, they, they, they got videos. So what's the sense of learning how to read or even want to read when all you could do is turn the video on, listen to the voice, or look, turn to YouTube, and it, they're, they're talking to you? There's no, ins, there's no incentive to learn how to read and write. That's what I guess what I'm saying. Anyway, I don't want to get involved in that conversation because we be talking all night. My name is Eric. And thank you for listening to the craziness that lives inside my head.